welcome dear friends uh, inside this class we are going to discuss about how we can create a birth finder this is the title how to create birth finder by using html css and javascript so you may think what's a birth finder so i'm just going to show you this is a birth finder that we are going to create inside this class so inside this uh, number field you can say anyone who is typing their age something like 25 if a person is 25 years old so in case if you are clicking on this birth finder button it will tell you your date of birth your birth year is 1992 if the person is just something like 27 so the birth year is 1990 if a person is 18 years old the birth year is 1937 if a person is 137 years old very old man the birth year is 1880 so the same thing now we are going to learn and create inside this class so open your code editor and start coding doc type html then html start head start and title start this is the basic structure of html and birth finder is the title and body start inside body tag we are going to use a center tag at first inside this center tag we are going to create a form html form start and close inside this we are going to use input and the type should be number because we are going to insert number inside this name number and you can just use here placeholder placeholder is equal to you can say please type your h very simple now we can just close this and press ctrl s to save if you are using windows and command plus s to save if you are using mac now you can just uh, go to run menu and launch this in chrome and you can see we have just here uh, just please type your h that we have written inside a placeholder here inside this and you can just use id here because we need for id number so this is just the first input the second input we are going to just start with bracket input and type must be button a name must be button and a value the text which will be written on the button for example birth finder and uh, you can see id here is equal to button same name and close now you can save this come here and refresh so you can see here is written birth finder that we have written inside value so type is button name is button id is equal to button value is equal to birth finder and this is the result now if you just uh, see here so you can see the width is just uh, bigger than this one and the same width for button also we are going to just make the same thing uh, same format for this one so inside the form i'm just going to use a style css tag margin from the top margin from the top something like 25 pixel and save now press f5 to refresh so we have some margin from the top this very good this time inside this input first input style tag equal sign and double quotation so you can set the width something like 300 pixel let's check ctrl s 
and refresh so this the width height also height should be something like uh, 28 pixel i think it's good control s and refresh so here if you focus on the just corner here they have just used some border radius so same thing we are going to use here border radius border dash radius something like 4 px or pixel come here and press f5 refresh now this just a number field now this time we are going to give some style for this button inside second input again css style tag open and just double quotation the width of this should be something like 130 px and the height for this should be something like 32 px and the border radius same 4 pixel of border radius control s and refresh so you can see just uh, it's just looking the same like this now after this form inside this form you can just create uh, you can insert a center tag inside center tag we are going to insert a p tag and we are just writing here ear this is just a dimmy text for right now we are just going to write here as an example and id is equal to i'm just giving the same thing here control s and refresh so this just not looking good if you just focus here here the background for this is black and the text color which is used here is white you can just use here css again style tag equal sign quotation you can say background is black and text color should be white now save and refresh here here refresh so you can see the background is with black color and the text color is in white color now after this center tag we are going to just insert here a script tag script tag start and close inside this we are going to code our javascript the first thing you can just write here document dot get element by id here inside quotation you can just select year so you have year you can see id year here select id and here you can say dot style dot display is equal to none we are just going to use here some css display none dot get element by id control s we are going to just hide this for right now press f5 to refresh so it's height this is really good after this you can just use here document dot get element by id this time inside this we are going to select button that we have here for button id is equal to button you can see and outside this you are going to say dot on click is equal to we are going to define a function here function uh, you can see function inside this we are going to name give a name for this function so name is optional you can use any name i'm just going to use calculate here C A L C U L A T E calculate and this is the rule for function now you can just come here you can just run the function function and the name for function calculate parentheses and curly braces after this you can open you are going to define a variable by name of number so you can just give any name for example you can give test here you can give example you can give your name 
So I'm just using here number because this AZ number is equal to document dot get element by ID. Same thing, we are going to get the number that we have used here. So you can see name number, ID is equal to number. Dot value, we are going to get the value from this field. So here we are going to just use if condition if number is equal equal to null or empty and here we are going to use or condition number is equal equal to zero so open curly braces inside this we are going to use alert and there should be a message please type you are correct H so very simple please type your correct H and close the function return and this all control s now come here and refresh so we have told here if anyone is just writing inside the number field zero or just uh, leaving this empty so this should be the message please type your correct h so this empty i'm just clicking on this you can see here is written please type your correct h if I'm just writing here 0 and click on this, please type your correct H, the same message. If you are just writing here some number like 21, so there will not be any message. So till here, we have just completed. After just uh, this closing curly braces, just enter and come here. Define a new variable, date is equal to new date dot get full year and another variable birth year b i r t h birth year is equal to number number and minus date number should be minus date so here document dot get element by id use quotation year dot style dot display is equal to block this time not none if you focus here you have just at first we have put the display none we have hide that uh, year text so here we have just used dot, uh, document dot get element by id you have selected the year so dot style dot display should be block you can just save this now come here and refresh type something like 23 and you can see we have year here so we have just because we have put the display block after that you can just write here document you will see your document dot get element by id Again, year dot inner HTML inner HTML is equal to you are going to write a message here. For example, your birth year is plus you are going to select this one. Control C to copy and you can paste here. Control S, let's check it's working or not. After that, I can just explain. For example, 23, your birth year is 1994, 45, 1972, 50 years old, your birth year is 1967. So it is working correctly. Now I'm just going to explain this for you. You have just created a function here you can see and the name of this function is calculate and we have just simply run the function here function calculate inside the function we have a variable by name of number document dot get element by id and here we have id of number you can see from this field we are going to get the value dot value i have just written here and here you can see we have run the if condition if number is equal equal to null or empty 
or number is equal to zero. In this case, inside the alert box, this message should appear. So you can see if anyone just writing here zero. So this is the message. Please type your correct edge or it is null. Click the same message. After this, we have just document.get element here dot style dot none. We have just hide this one here just by using CSS code. At first we have just hide this and we have just used another line of code here dot display block. But inside this function you can see we have just uh, make it visible inside this function and we have a variable by the name of date is equal to new date dot get full year inside this date we have full year for example till 2017 it is the just the latest year or this year is just 2017 so inside this date we have new date dot this is a function for date that we have uh, all the years all the years till 2017 and here we have just another variable by the name of birth year and we have just equal this to number and minus date for example if you are going to just write here something like 20 it will just minus 20 from minus 20 from 2017 so it will just work like this and it will give you the result 1997 so there is nothing else and here we have just used here document dot get element by id we have used inner html your birth year is we have used the same variable name here plus birth year so it was about how we can create a birth year just by using html css and javascript i hope that you have learned how you can just create a birth year and you have enjoyed from watching this video. Thank you. Have a nice time.